All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rekak with Dash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By Hashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. By Hashem Rekak with Dash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, The Spirit of Truth. Shalawan la and peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children whose names are written in the book of life, who's ordained to be delivered in these last days. And uh, I was having a conversation with another brother, and uh, we were talking about identifying Satan before he attacks. Okay, because um, that's the best bet, man. Uh, as I've been expressing in my last few videos, is about uh, the wisdom and the elevation of wisdom, and uh, because there's different. Levels to knowledge, there's different levels to understanding, and there's also different levels of wisdom. All right, the scriptures tell you what that the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Okay, that's a scripture to keep in mind, man. Um, through uh, Esau, Edom, but then you also have the spiritual demon Satan that jumps on different individuals, it could jump on a brother, it could jump on your mother, your father, it could jump on your co worker, the spiritual demon Satan, right? And then he's you know. As you saw this lion doing, he's pouncing, and because as you know, let's go to this scripture here. This is the book of First Peter, chapter five and eight. Be sober, be vigilant. Which what? What does it mean to be vigilant? Being circumspect, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And as, again, as you saw in the video from the beginning, the lion lurks. Okay, the lion is not a creature that just walks around and just jumps on its prey. No, it takes its time. It's patient. It waits for the it waits for the proper opportunity to strike. And that's how the spiritual demon Satan does with the hopeful elect. You know, we're you know trying to walk the straight and narrow, trying to be pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But the adversary, the devil. Okay, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And we know that he doesn't just come straight forward. All right, Satan will just pop up and just say, hey, I'm Satan. No, Satan will transform himself into an angel of light. The scriptures tell you, right? As Satan has transformed. His, so, so just like a lion, okay, it will pretend and get low and hide itself first. Before it makes its move Okay but Going back into those levels of wisdom Okay you want to be able to identify How Satan messes with you Okay And the more and more you season in the truth The more and more You know yourself The scriptures say know yourselves whether or not you be in the faith Prove your own selves right So the more and more you know yourself The more and more you understand how Satan Tries to attack you all right. And in being in the truth and, you know, you know, we pray to the Lord that we able to avoid certain instances by identifying Satan before he strikes. Just like this little buffalo, this baby buffalo had it known better. All right. As you saw that the lion was coming, maybe it might have had a chance to get away. All right. We know that the adversary, the, the devil, 
Okay, he's, he's, he's doing these particular things. So it's best that we, you know, catch him before he catches us. And that's the purpose of this video, man. You know, um, and it won't let me go to the history of my, uh, the scriptures that I had pulled up. Just give me one second to see if it comes through. If not, I pretty much remember. All right, we can just go to the book of Psalms, right? Chapter. Psalms chapter 17 and we'll start at verse 9 from the wicked okay verse 8 keep me as the apple of the eye hide me under the shadow wings of the almighty right this is King David praying giving us a, a prayer to pray to keep us from the uh, uh, from under the shadow of the wings from the wicked that oppress me right and also to what that Yahweh Bashim Shai protect us in our daily walk it says, from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies whom compass me about. Right. And again, hey, guess what? This doesn't have to be a so-called white man. This doesn't have to be the elites. Okay. This can be the spiritual demon jumping on a brother. It could be the spiritual demon jumping on your woman. Okay. And this is why we have to stay prayed up so that when we able to identify when your woman is in a particular mood, you understand that she got Satan on her, then you're able to do certain things to avoid the confrontation. Okay, to, to avoid, you know, more stress and more anguish. Okay, because Satan ain't there to do nothing but to throw you off course. All right, it says... They are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth, they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps, right? They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. You see, so when the spirit, the scriptures give an analogy of Satan trying to devour the hopeful elect, is from what a, a lion's perspective and a lion does what it lurks in secret places he tries to hide himself all right this is why we have to pray to the lord to to enhance our wisdom so that we able to identify satan right so that we can win the skirmish we can win the battle the spiritual battle okay so uh the last example that i want to bring let me see if it gives, yep, it gave me my history back. Even though that's not what we want, let's go to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17. I believe I have it highlighted. It Here we go. This is it anyway. I thought I had it highlighted, but this is during the time where uh Samuel came and he wanted to anoint he went to anoint King David as the new king right and then David what did he what, what did he explain all right matter of fact this is the account where uh Saul everyone was scared to fight Goliath all right but what did King David say all right this is a verse I'm gonna start at verse 34 and David said unto Saul Thy servant keep his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. You see, so we got to have that same faith that David had when he actually fought a lion. Right. You know, David, you know, he probably got low. He, you know, he, he, he used particular tactics to, so that he can get that lion, get that sheep out of the lion's mouth. Why? Because just like we have the sheep today, that's the congregation of the fold of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're going to go through battles with Satan, that roaring lion, for the sake of the sheep. Because all the tests that we, the scriptures say, I labor not for myself only, but for them that what? Desire wisdom. 
So a part of our labor, a part of our fight is to come up against that lion for the sake of the sheep. All right. And again, that lion can come in many shape, forms and fashions. All right. To, 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 to battle test you. OK. And some battles we win, some battles we lose. Nevertheless, we're supposed to learn from those battles to overcome in the last. Because the greatest, all these battles is for the, the, the big war that's to come. And it's all about the spirit against the flesh at the end of the day, okay? So I just, again, I just wanted to bring these examples out as a, you know, as an analogy. I was thinking about it. A brother, we was talking about how Satan likes to fuck with brothers. But as like King David did, he, look, he, he went up against that, that lion, man. Okay? For the sake of the sheep. Okay? So just like us in today's time, we fight, we got to fight that lion daily. All right, and know how to cover ourselves so that what? That that lion can't get to us. That Satan can't can't hinder us from moving on and growing in the in the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? I'm going to close on that. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim And this video is for educational purposes only. All right, it's not used to make any money. It's not. You know, use for any of those purposes. Just want to put that out there. Shalom.